Okay, what we have here in our last and final video is um, I have my completed parking lot. I have all my walkways. I have all my curbs going around. I even went in and I made some sidewalks on my islands um, for the walkways. You guys should know how to do this by now. If you don't, you can go back to previous videos or previous lessons to find out how to do any of the stuff that you see here. It's all in the previous videos and uh, at this this uh, late in the game, you should know how to do all this stuff. So. If I go and I show where my grass is, we have our one big glaring issue. We have a giant field and it's covering everything. And when you do this, the, the hardest thing is you got to separate these little areas because we're going to need an area right here, right here, right here, and um, then our giant field, obviously. And we're going to split this, uh, this site into different pieces. And the, the trick to that is you can only do two pieces at a time or else it gets angry at you. So we go massing in sight. We're going to go to split surface. We select our surface. Now, now that I have it selected, I always like go to go to my 2D site plan. Okay. And to do this, all we do is we use that pick line can work. And you got to remember that we have this little tiny, little tiny piece here. And the important thing when you're doing this pick line is see if I zoom out there, I don't have the whole line. So I got to make sure that I get the whole thing because you have these little uh, pieces of the line. You need a continuous line going around just like everything else for a floor tool or anything. We need to have a continuous line. We green check. And all we did was we just made a little, we made this its own subregion. So when I delete the grass in the parking lot, it's going to leave our little pieces behind. So it's kind of annoying, but yeah, that's Revit. Uh, so I go in 3D mode, I select my site, I do split surface, I come to my 2D site view. All right, and it's just the same method going all the way around, making sure, and this little line right here just drives me crazy, but you know, it's the little things in life that like to test us. And we're gonna go around, and there's that one. All right, let's go to 3D mode. I always like to do this split surface, select 2D, bam. And this one, we're going to go. This one's not as bad, actually, because we don't have that little tiny line. Oh, geez. But you got to be careful when I go here. See how I want to do this? So this one, I'm just going to use my endpoint and go all the way to here. Great check. And we have one last one. We have our parking lot. All right. So split surface, parking lot. And this one, I'm not going to use my pick lines because it's kind of annoying. Because watch what happens when I try to do my pick lines. on the see us all these little tiny line segments. I could easily just, we're going from boundary to boundary. So my boundary is right here on the sidewalk. So when I go around to here, I don't need to go and do an enclosed area because I could go boundary to boundary. Oh. All right, I'm just going to do it like this. You guys will get the picture. You could do better than me. Always strive to be better than Mr. Tosh. Green check. All right, so let's do our big reveal. And so when I select it, make sure it says topography over here. If it says parking lot, you hit the tab. And then bam, there it goes. All right. I would have to do the same little thing here, split the surface for the, the driveway here. All right. This one would go um, really quick because I would just have to watch me mess this up now. You know, you just got to kind of go from left to, or right from left. So now I have this one. So I just, you know, massing site, split surface, bam. And as I went around, and added these lines across here. Let's hit tab. All right, fine, let's not. Let's go 3D mode. And sometimes it doesn't let you select what you want. So there's my topography, bam. All right, and yeah, I have a little gap here. If you want to be perfect, you could change the topo surface to go down to here, but we're not going crazy. Remember, this is just kind of a uh, a generic experience where it's all flat. I mean, if you were normally doing this, they would uh, have some elevations you'd have to deal with. But um, when we select the sidewalk, you can see the grass. You could go crazy and cut the grass around here, or if we just put a small height offset of a quarter inch on there and just raise our sidewalks above our grass, then that kind of uh, 
you know, cheats the system a little bit and saves us some effort, and it's still going to look pretty the way we want. All right, the last thing I need to do is I need to put my building in here. And so let's, all right, so to put the building in, we're just going to go to the Insert tab, Link Revit, and you're going to find where your file is saved. Here's mine. And it's going to need to, mine is I drew it a couple years ago, so it's going to need to upgrade it. And uh, it might take a second to put in just because it's a rather large file, so be patient with the uh, software as this happens. All right, so it's done loading. You're like, oh, it's not there. Well, double-click your mouse wheel, and it's all the way over here. Luckily, it's at the same exact elevation because your file should line up with this one, all right? So um, if you need to, if, if it were not to be in, you can always go down here. If you go to, like, this front view or one of your elevations, you could see where it's lined up. If yours was way down here, you could use the align tool to bring it up just for those of you that are watching that may not have that luxury. So I like to go to my site plan and I'm going to take my library and just pull it kind of close. All right, it's a block now. It's it's going to be separate pieces, so it should be rather easy to to pull it over and we can just use our align tool. Old Mr. Align, always there when I need you. And we're going to align let me just pull it this way because I want to have these edges. And I could go there. And line it up, lock it, and the big reveal. Bam, there we go. So we got our parking lot, we got our library in. Okay, all we have left to do is build our little retention pond, and we're donezo with this project. Um, don't forget, you need to put in things like your bike lanes, the dumpster. Um, a we have our pedestrian walkway and a book return over here in your landscaping stuff that I don't need to show on video. So don't forget that. All right. It's been fun.